Welcome back to Historic Adventures. Today, we're journeying through time to the majestic Stafford Castle. Let's uncover its stories and secrets together. Join us on this unforgettable adventure. Perched atop a commanding vantage, Stafford Castle's strategic value was promptly seized upon by the Normans, by 1100 Norms, by 1100 and Robert de Twainy, later renowned as Robert of Stafford, had erected a formidable timber fortress on the site. This sentinel has overlooked the surrounding landscape for over nine centuries. In the tumultuous aftermath of the 1066 Norman invasion, William the Conqueror, wary of the still restive local populace, is believed to have commanded that this bastion be fortified. The castle's narrative is intertwined with that of its long-standing custodians, the Stafford family whose fortunes ebbed and flowed through the ages. As an iconic representation of the Motta and Bailey design, Stafford Castle experienced various pivotal moments. By the mid-14th century, Ralph, an inaugural member of the Order of the Garter, ascended to the title of the first Earl of Stafford. In 1347, he commissioned the construction of a stone keep atop the Motti. The subsequent year saw him obtaining the coveted license to crenellate, which paved the way for the erection of the castle's battlements. The dawn of the 19th century saw the castle resurrected in the Gothic Revival style, only to fall into ruin once again. A subsequent revival helmed by the Jerningham family saw the keep reborn from its original foundation as a resplendent four-tiered structure. Yet the weight of time took its toll. Entrusted to caretakers and later deserted in the mid-20th century, the castle returned to a state of decay. In the heart of the English countryside lies the historically rich Stafford Castle. Recent restorative initiatives and comprehensive archaeological explorations have cemented its reputation as one of the finest examples of Norman earthworks in England. Over the course of these investigations, the castle has unveiled many of its long-held secrets. Today, visitors can embark on a journey of discovery following a meticulously curated interpretive trail that narrates the castle's 900-year legacy. The year 1537 provides us with an intriguing insight into life at Stafford Castle. A detailed inventory from that time underscores the integral role herbs played in everyday life celebrated for their medicinal, aromatic, and culinary attributes, these herbs were indispensable. In homage to this historical record, the castle grounds now feature a herb garden meticulously fashioned with 16 distinct beds. Each bed harbors herbs, historically believed to be remedies for specific ailments. This garden, while a delight to peruse, offers visitors an immersive glance into historical traditions and practices. Spanning an impressive 26-acre Stafford Castle encompasses a keep, an inner and outer bailey, vast stretches of woodland, the aforementioned herb garden, the aforementioned herb garden, a state of the art visitor center, and ample parking space. For those wishing to delve deeper into history, the keep stands open during the operational hours of the visitor center. At the heart of the castle's educational initiatives is the visitor center. It boasts an immersive audio, visual display narrating the castle's illustrious past. Patrons can engage with tangible artifacts ranging from arms and armor to period costumes, a comprehensive timeline places the castle's history within a broader national framework. For the Moorhands, on Visitor, the centre offers unique experiences such as coin minting and brass rubbing. Should you wish to take home a memento of your visit, the Visitor Centre shop is replete with an array of gifts, souvenirs, traditional toys and local crafts 
Additionally, a commendable collection of local history books awaits enthusiasts. For those seeking refreshment, a selection of ice creams, chocolates and beverages is available. Venture outside the centre and the aromatic embrace of the herb garden awaits, offering a sensory journey back to the medieval era and its botanical practices. The castle's dynamic events calendar is a testament to its cultural significance. The annual Stafford Festival Shakespeare production is a highlight captivating audiences each summer. Moreover, educational programs tailored for schools and groups, punctuated with occasional themed tours, workshops and talks, ensure that the legacy of Stafford Castle continues to inspire and educate them. Delve into the rich tapestry of history at the Stafford Castle Visitor Centre, designed to offer both an informative and interactive and interactive experience. As you step inside, you are not just entering a building, but travelling through time. This centre is not a mere exhibition of artefacts. It encourages visitors to actively engage with the history, making learning a delightful blend of amusement and enlightenment. For those who appreciate a multi-sensory approach to history, the audio, visual section offers a captivating film narrated by the distinguished Robert Hardy. This narration illuminates the castle's chronicles, breathing life into its ancient walls. The design of the centre is reminiscent of a Norman guardhouse, adding authenticity to the atmosphere. A meticulously crafted scale model depicts the Motte and Bailey Castle as it might have stood in the year 1100, offering a tangible glimpse into the past. For a memento of your journey through time, the castle shop offers an array of souvenirs tailored to every budget. Among its treasures, you'll find a special collection of children's books, each dedicated to the enchanting world of castle. Stafford Castle is not just a monument of the past. It's a living, breathing entity. Throughout the calendar year, its grounds play host to a myriad of events from historically. Themed gatherings to joyous family fun days, there's always a reason to return. Since 1991, the castle's majestic silhouette has served as a dramatic backdrop for the timeless works of Shakespeare, creating a unique theatrical experience Accessibility is a priority at Stafford Castle, ensuring that the visitor centre is available to all, including those with disabilities. Additionally, visitors will find toilet facilities equipped with radar, emphasising the castle's commitment to inclusivity. While the ancient stones and stories of Stafford Castle primarily whisper tales of history, our thoughtfully crafted tours weave in elements from an array of academic disciplines, Clip transitions to kids measuring the castle walls, writing down notes and examining a map. From the calculations of maths to the eloquence of English, and from the vast landscapes of geography to the innovative realm of design and technology, Stafford Castle offers more than just a history lesson. And, in the heart of it all, our young visitors get to grasp the values of citizenship, understanding their place in the tapestry of time. Footage showcases children involved in different hands, on activities, some are painting, while others are engaged in role play. But it's not just about textbooks and facts here. Our castle grounds come alive with hands, on activities that spark imagination and foster creativity. Through the art of role play, pupils dive deep into a world where drama, art and language coalesce. Displayed proudly are relics unearthed from archaeological digs, each telling silent tales of times gone by. Knowledgeable guides stand ready, their expertise at your disposal, keen to satisfy your curiosities about the castle's illustrious path. Children are seen collaborating, discussing and showcasing their artwork and performances. 
Stafford Castle's visits are more than just tours. They're platforms for holistic learning, encouraging teamwork, promoting team building, and igniting a passion for various arts and skills. We welcome schools to a realm where education transcends the classroom walls. In the grandeur of yesteryears, castles were not merely stone structures serving as bastions of defence. They also played host to some of the most magnificent celebration. Today, this legacy lives on, as the castle opens its venerable gates to those wishing to commemorate the joyous occasion of a birthday in regal style. Guests are invited to step back in time, immersing themselves in the rich tapestry of the medieval era. Children can don authentic period attire, from the valorous tabards of knights to the resplendent dresses reminiscent of medieval maidens. Each garment is a portal transporting its wearer to an age of chivalry and romance. The castle's festivities are designed to be both educational and entertaining. As the day unfolds, attendees embark on a guided sojourn around the castle's grounds. This enlightening stroll, of course, is subject to the whims of the weather, ensuring the comfort and safety of all. But what's a castle without its mysteries? The young adventurers will engage in a spirited treasure hunt, piecing together clues and unveiling the castle's secrets. And as the pinnacle of the event, in a heartwarming tribute to the age-old traditions, the birthday celebrant is bestowed the honour of a knighting ceremony. This symbolic rite, acknowledging bravery and honour, ensures that the day is forever etched in memory. So, for those seeking a celebration that bridges the gap between the past and the present, the castle stands as a testament to timeless elegance and enduring wonder. As dusk settles, the remnants of the once mighty fortress breathe a different life. The walls, scorched by time, become the very parchment on which ghostly tales unfold. They say Lady Isabel, the heartbroken maiden of Stafford Castle, never really left her abode. Desperate to unite with her forbidden love, she was betrayed and met a tragic end. On moonlit nights, a silvery apparition can be seen wandering the castle grounds, her soft lamentations a mournful ballad to lost love. Visitors have often spoken of feeling a cold touch or hearing whispered words in the breeze, a pee or perhaps a warning. But she's not alone. Deep within the castle's dungeons, there have been reports of chains rattling. The spectral figure of a jailed knight, Sir Reginald, unjustly imprisoned for a crime he did not commit, is believed to roam, forever seeking justice. His hollow gaze pierces through the mist, leaving an eerie chill in the hearts of those who encounter him. There's a saying amongst the locals. The spirits of Stafford Castle do not rest. They are simply waiting, waiting for redemption, waiting for love, waiting for the moment when past wrongs are righted. So if ever you find yourself walking the grounds of this ancient site, remember to tread lightly for the souls bound to this land might just be walking beside you. The mid-15th century heralded the castle's golden era under Humphrey Stafford, who was ennobled as the Duke of Buckingham. But as the pages of history turned to the 17th century, Stafford Castle witnessed decline, the tumults of the English Civil War proved catastrophic, leading to its order of demolition by the Parliamentary Committee in Stafford. Gallantly defended in its twilight by the indomitable Lady Isabel, the castle was eventually forsaken and razed.
We hope you've enjoyed our journey through Stafford Castle. If you appreciate historic adventures like this, please consider giving us a like and subscribing. Until next time, we'll see you soon on another adventure.